phone and you're using this every night. I do have it on. Okay, sorry about that. I was fixing my recording. So, um, so anyways, um, just to comment A through A to Z, just click on um, their first um, post that comes up and then just comment on that one. If it's somebody that um, maybe you, um, their profile picture isn't something that you um, can comment on it, maybe, I don't know, but um, maybe you can do the other picture. So, um, so either one, but I also want to recommend liking it. So when you click on the profile picture, um, click like so that you know you commented on it already. So um, that was something hard for me to remember at first to click that like button so that I knew I already commented on that picture. Also, um, I do want to mention that sometimes people have stories connected to that profile picture. So if you click on it and the story comes up and they have a, their stories very long, right? Um, and you don't want to watch all of their stories. You could comment or on one of those stories also, and that will send a message directly through them through messenger. So you could do comment on one of those or, um, just hold it down, hold the profile picture down, and then eventually um, a little screen will come up that's saying um, comment on profile picture or view profile picture is what it says. So just know that um, if it doesn't, if they do have a story connected to the profile picture that you can get by, by that, by either commenting on one of those pictures or holding it down. You want to definitely make sure also that um, you are not um, getting caught, caught up in scrolling through their Facebook page because um, that, that's, not, that's not being very productive in what we are trying to accomplish by, by doing this. And this is an hour of your time. Your time is very valuable especially at the end of the month. So um, so if you are getting on these or watching the recordings of things, we want you to get, our goal is for you to get the most value out of this, out of your hour that you're putting into this. So um, definitely don't get caught up in scrolling through people's pages um, because that's not what this is meant to be.
too, um, I just wanted to give a tip on um, something that I started doing. It's been a while now, but um, when posting your um, recipes, your daily recipes, you know, as you do your three um, posts a day, um, I started to, if I make a recipe or if I make my dinner, I try to remember to take a picture of it. Sometimes um, that's hard to remember, but sometimes I'm just really hungry. And then by the time I'm done, I'm like, oh my gosh, I forgot to take a picture. But um, I've actually taken a picture of my empty dinner plate too. So, but I did, I posted tonight, I made the cauliflower pizza and it's a, it is amazing. Like, I, I mean, I just did it an hour ago exactly an hour ago and it's 44 likes and i've had a ton of comments and just people asking me for the recipe so i'll just message it to them through messenger um and then uh and then you just get some you know people that I mean, half of them i'm not even sure who they are but um but it just makes you know some some relationships through there so so it is it is neat how how that works if you if you do cook or um want to share one that you actually make you can get a, a lot of love on it so now i have to follow up on all those and then the following up on it um Actually, we, we can do that um, tonight too, following up on our, our um, what's it, I forget the, the time yes, thank you, that's why Rob's here. Um, <laughs> we'll, we'll scrub our timeline here in a little bit um, and then follow up on all of those, um, all of our comments that went since people's been uh, commenting. And that's what that means scrubbing your timeline What's wrong? It's been um, a very, very, I will say that um, this, this means power hours has really helped a lot of us. Um, this this month so um we know it's working um it it just i i, I having schedule a structure on doing it um helps a lot a lot of us because we, there's a lot of easy distractions all around us all day long whether it be you know our dogs our kids our husbands our wives Lots of distractions, Kathy. <laughs> um, and it, it prevents us from doing from scrolling and getting tied up into it. And and the scrolling isn't very productive when it comes to our business. So just having a structure, a time set um to do it, it this month 
in this short little month things you know nine times that we've done it i don't know if we started it the beginning of the month or not but um you know nine to 12 times that we've done this um it's it's there's been so much celebration this 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 month so um so it does work and and if you know we're all coaches and most of us not all but some of us have coaches under under us just to get them on here even if it's four times a month could do so much for their own business you know their own business and their own selves to um whether it be you know to make a car payment to make you know a mortgage payment to for christmas time extra christmas spending money whatever it be or just even just to help people help people get healthy so um so i definitely would encourage if you can't say it enough you right. can't remind them enough we're gonna do it again for october so remind them that now. yeah 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 hello hi nicole so hi. Um, so yeah it's been amazing for for our organization and then that leads up to all of you guys so um but we are going to do it next month um we're going to continue through november um the same days um october sorry i'm a month ahead of myself so um the same days um on monday wednesdays and fridays at seven o'clock this really helps especially the people that um that work during the day a lot of us are still working so um so it's hard for us to do at one to two in the afternoon whether you work evening shift or day shift there, that gives you two opportunities on those three days to get on at least one of them so um so yeah i, I couldn't encourage you enough to enc encourage your coaches um to get on here so every reminder possible helps um and they will they will see they will see the impact that it does if they're a newer coach probably this month so um so that's always awesome and then again you know and we always say in three months what you do today you'll see the the results in in three months so um so yeah it's about um 18 after we'll go for a couple more minutes and then we'll just take a quick five minute break and Nicole, I know you just got on, so you can just keep, we're A to Z commenting. So you can just keep doing that. Um, and then next, um, we're gonna do a little, something a little bit different. So, um, so we'll do that when we come back from the break. Just a three, we'll do, just do a three minute break. Not a, not a big one, we just got on, we're not dancing. Trevor, where's Trevor? He said he was gonna do music, I haven't seen him since. <laughs> when we come back we're just going to share a little bit um if you'd like to um do a little bit of sharing so if you'd like to talk, that'd be awesome. If not, then you can just listen to me and maybe Rob, maybe I'll let Rob talk. Feel blessed. Mm -hmm. It's a nice car. Uh, nice burgers. Okay, I'm going to stop the video so you guys can keep working if you want to, if you need to run the restroom, get something to drink.
take screenshots. Now, take screenshot. Take a screenshot of where you left off because when we come back, we're going to go out of um out of the A to Z comment. So, so you um you want to definitely keep track of where you're at. All right, Okay, so I'm not, sure what, I'm not sure what Rob took tonight, but anyways, um, oh, sorry. Um, we are going to, so t we're going to come up with um, five things that you want to be known for, okay? So I would assume that all of us want to be known for a health coach, right? So, so that's one for everybody. And then the other four things is what you are passionate about. So, so if you don't know, then that's fine. It's just something um, maybe that you can start writing down. But, but just five things that you want to be known for. What people, when people think about you, what are they going to say? you love you know what you're known for so so i'll say um you want to share yours first mm -hmm. okay so mine would be um you know as a health coach and the next you know a grandmother my grandkids right and then and it changes it 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 truly changes like you know i couldn't have said that three years ago but as as your life changes your 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 what people know you for changes so um so mine would be my grandkids and then obviously my family right so that that's my three or you can say it's it's both the same but i'm gonna call it three and then our dogs because we have two awesome dogs and um and then and then just you know we're adventurous i vacations i like to take a lot of vacations if you don't know me my whole life could be a vacation i like trying i like going different places all the time i'm not so much in at, into going the same place all the time i like new stuff when i on when it comes to vacations so um go ahead so for me so basically what we're trying to do is just, so when we post, it's, yeah, we want to be known as health coaches, but also we want to be like well-rounded. We are real people. And so what we're trying to accomplish with, as we brand ourselves, is we want to also brand ourselves as these other things, you know, like, you know, I also am a grandfather, you know, grandparent, family, <clears throat> um, health coach, clearly. Uh, travel is something else I want to be known for, I, but I also want to be known for, for me personally, like fitness, not, not necessarily fitness, but striving for a better version of myself, talking about my goals, my health goals, my, my fitness goals. You know, I, I don't always talk about like cardio, but I, I, I always try to be, I want to be known for striving to be a better version of myself physically, because I, I don't think we're ever perfect. So that's just me. And so would, what we're trying to do with this, many of you guys probably already have yourselves branded or have your five things written down. But for newer coaches that may be using this recording, would anyone else like to come off mute and share to give some others some ideas what they themselves have been branded for? What, what the, how they try to brand themselves. Does anyone else want to come off and share some of your, the things you're, you, you are known for that you post about? Renee, Renee's going to share. She has her hand up. Are we recording? Yes. Okay. So, yeah, there you go. Perfect. So, mine are very similar to yours, Nikki. Um, uh, so, the things that I want to be known for are um, being a health coach. And um, along with that is being healthy myself. And I feel like sort of under that same category is healthy movement. So, I may post pictures of me at a yoga class or my yoga mat on the floor getting ready to be used that kind of thing um or you know walking um and then that kind of leads me to one of the other things i like to be known for is my dog so i often walk with my dog um so i have a little yorkie 
And um, so I constantly post pictures of her in her work bed. She's in her work bed right now. Um, and um, I'm, I'm a mom, so my family is important to me. And, um, and then travel, I love to travel. And I used to like really be into coffee and like to trying different kinds of coffee and stuff, but now I'm kind of over that. It's just as long as it's there in the morning, I'm good. <laughs> so I think I need a new fifth. Yeah, yeah. Then they change, they truly change. As you change, then your five things change. You know, clearly we're always gonna have our children and our family, they aren't going anywhere, right? But, um, but maybe those last two change a little bit as you know, or as our dogs go, whether we replace them or not, <laughs> but, um, but they do truly change. So does anybody else want to go? I'll go. Okay. Yeah. In the, uh, speak, not the speaker view, but the group view, Milo was staring right into the camera. I saw so, it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my knuckleheads, as I like to call them, they're infinite material for personal posts just because they're ridiculous sometimes. So, um, Ohio State, if you haven't met me and don't know I like Ohio State, yeah, it, it's pretty easy to tell. Um, Florida, we're, we're always trying new places in Florida, whether it be the beach, whether it be you know, just, just traveling around here, living in Florida, Florida weather, just being branded for that, um, Central Florida. And Disney, obviously we live right near Disney, so again, another easy mark, whether we're at Disney Springs or one of the Disney parks or I mean, we're, we're having to rebrand ourselves now because now that Kathy's a full-time health coach, her biggest concern was now one of my five that I'm known for, that people flock to me because I know all the behind the scenes of Disney. That's coming away from me. That was one of my five. So she's really got to work on that. So we're still in a lot of Disney groups because we know a lot about Disney. So it doesn't just have to be something you're known for. It could be something that you really love. Like Renee, like you said, with coffee, it could be something you really, really love. So yeah. And, and obviously our family, but, you know, I mean, when we went on vacation, you know, we, we posted all about the family. So. Yeah. yeah. It's awesome. Thank you. I'll share. Okay. Okay. Well, since pandemic, uh, my a couple of mine have changed. I have a, a lot of them are what you, talk about the dog, <laughs> the dog and the coach of course um, I did volunteer work in nursing homes so that that kind of went by the wayside and so I I couldn't share publicly what I was doing there but I would always check in and, and show star because right. she's the, the, we do pet therapy and things like that and also I I have a group of friends that we like to uh, follow Elvis Tribute, yeah, Elvis and different tribute artists. And so that kind of went by the wayside. So I guess I need to find some new ones. And I also like ballroom dancing. So I guess I, I'm on a holding pattern here. I need to do something. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe RV, R, RV, uh, <laughs> yeah, there you go. Stopping might be a new thing for me. <laughs> <laughs> RV. Yeah, um, it, uh, COVID changed a lot, a lot. Yeah. So, um, yeah, and and hopefully soon that all that stuff can come back. Yeah. Right now, it's not. So, um, so. And, I, and I would I would challenge you, any of you or all of you, all of you or all of us, I should say, to go go live from time to time about these things. I mean, many of us do. But as we go live about them, it just, it helps kind of reinforce our brand. People can feel our passion coming through, you know, a quick two, three minute video talking about, I don't know, our stupid dogs or whatever. I, I mean, it really, but it would, the fun thing is so many people can relate to something so silly that it, it is very relatable and people can see your heart and then it comes through. So I, I would challenge you to get, you know, go live from time to time about some of these things that you want to be known for because it does resonate with people. It just does. And two, and two, you know, like we're real people. So a lot of, a lot of our Facebook friends, we may not know personally know them. So, um, so just to put by going live and putting it out there that, you know, that we aren't perfect neither. So, um, 
so it just makes them make us makes us seem more um you know down to earth like we are people too so so anyways does anybody else want to share oh nicole's going to share okay i'll go yeah this whole thing has been about me going out of my box so i right. love it um awesome. i have always been known as a mom and a wife um mom dance mom majorette mom i'm an unofficial dance mom because i'm i just want them to dance and have fun <laughs> so i'm not okay. one of those dance moms um i've always been about family um the people at work say that i'm very positive they find the positive side and i'm a motivator so i'm always trying to do that um i'm excited to say i'm a health coach now and um very uh, motivated and um been a, a lot about healing uh healing the body healing the soul and yeah and, and so that would be my awesome my yeah. thank you yeah thanks thank for sharing you. that it's awesome yeah dance mom when you say dance mom i think of that show dance mom i used to watch well, it my <laughs> girls my girls danced with them like not wow. with them, but when we go to Pittsburgh, they're in the same room with us. Oh, not any New York yeah. straw in California, but um, my girls didn't care. We didn't watch the show. I yeah. didn't let them. Yeah, because it they was were, our entertainment some nights. <laughs> listen, I had Abby Miller sitting next to me in a room, and I was like this, trying to hide because people were taking pictures. I didn't want to be in the pictures. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. That's funny. Yeah, so. we watched it for a couple, okay. couple, three years probably. Yeah. Well, I will tell you, oh. Abby is exactly what you see. Wow. Um, yeah. The other moms talking to them, they were contracted for how many fights they had on camera. I believe that. So. Yeah, didn't know that. Never would have imagined that, but yeah. No, it's a, it's not. I it's not the real dance world. Yeah, yeah it's pretty scripted. Yeah. yeah. And which you can, we can all assume that, but yeah, didn't know they were contracted. So anyways, um, does anybody else want to share? Okay. So, um, so then, um, so now we're going to do, we're going to scrub our, our, scrub our timeline. So we've, um, talked about that. So I'm just gonna, so if you want to go on to your own, um, Facebook page again, and we're scrubbing your timeline means um, you're going to scroll through your Facebook page. And so you're just going to go back to your Facebook page. And like I talked about, I, um, I had posted earlier our dinner tonight, our cauliflower pizza recipe. So um, I've had 11 comments on there. So I'm just going to click on the comments. And, um, you know, the one so... Um, I, you know, I wish I had that thought of that. We we're having the Big Mac salad. So it's another health coach, but I'm still going to like it. And I'm going to just going to reply. I love that one too. And then, um, you know, Somebody said, I need to try this. Do you have the recipe? So I'm just going to like it and I'm going to reply. I'll PM you it. And two by PMing or DM, whatever you want to call it. I'm old, so I call it PM, right? So um, it took me a long time to figure out what DM meant because that was new. So, <laughs> so, um, by P by private messaging them or direct messaging them, you um, are taking it to a more private. So maybe they do want some more information about about our program or about where we get our recipes from or what they you know what they mean lean and green meal three condiments you know because they all say that on them. So um, and then maybe they'll ask some more questions about it. So where they wouldn't have on just news feed. So. Um, so that's what that's why I like to to just send them the recipe and the private message um, private message not always 
Sometimes I'll just put it right there out for everybody to see that asked for it. But by doing that, people are still going to your, you know, post and looking at it. And because they looked at it, they, um, you know, are seeing all your stuff. Nikki. Yes. Can I say something about going live that I learned that I yeah. never would have thought of? Sure. Um, somebody that, um, I, that I was doing A to Z commenting and someone that I reached out to or commented on reached out to me to inquire about how all those people were losing weight. And she said that she watched all of my videos because some of the posts of the before and afters seemed unbelievable uh -huh. and so she watched my lives because she wanted to see what I really look like mm -hmm. because oh. she wanted to see like if the pictures were all Real. modified yeah. Yeah. yeah and by going live she could tell that I was real like my real size yes because you can't modify the video so anyway just for whatever that's worth you know, for people to see from time to time that you are a real person and that's really your size still. Right. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And, that's surprising and, to me. And you know, you see, and we have a lot, we have also had, or I have also had a few people say, um, like those are real people. Like I've seen other people talk about, you know, but nobody's ever showed people, like real people, like losing weight. So that's what caught them. That what's brought them to to us, because we post those people, and those are real people. And then you know the the just by sharing the program, getting getting them into that live right site, just reconfirms that. So. So yeah, the lives people like like them people like watching them people want um whether they like what you're saying i don't know or they are just being nosy by watching them which it doesn't it doesn't really matter they're still um being engaged in your um in your facebook page so So we love, um, so I just wanted to mention, you know, this month, we've had a lot of excitement um, with all of you guys and, um, and just hitting that next rank. It's been amazing. Um, so just uh, congratulations to, um, to 
um, to Kathy um, and and Scott and Kathy and Kathy Lalonde and and just everybody just those little little and Kyle Ann for her for her one dollar was it one dollar <laughs> um, so and Renee I mean just those little little steps you know till that next that next um, everybody on here now that I'm thinking about it it's, it has has had a great you know last day so um we, that's no accident yeah and so sure. share that with your coaches and, and please because that's not an accident the, the people that get on these power hours are the people that are showing growth yeah and that's that's a fact we can see it um you hear gina you heard gina talk about if you're doing her power hours you know it, it's it's a fact so we want to encourage our coaches to do it because it's it's proven there's evidence of 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 success so yeah and you know we talked to gina this morning we she was we we were on the phone with Gina. well we weren't actually on the phone with her we were texting her back and forth like it's hard to get a sentence in because she texts so fast i don't understand how she goes that fast like we're she's on to the next paragraph and we're still trying to answer the first question but um but she knows all of you so just know that she knows every single one of you and um and she you know she looks into your business too so you know you know rob and i try to stay as up to date on everybody as possible but she's she is our our backup too she if i asked her about any of you she would know exactly what we were talking about exactly what we met so she looks into into our so our organization all the time so we are very fortunate enough to be to be able to work this close to her. She is amazing. So um, so yeah. So congratulations to everybody. This is definitely working. So for us um, and you guys. So we're that's why we are going to continue to do it um, through next month. And hopefully we can just get some a little bit more um, participation um, with and with with all of your coaches. That's what we want. That's what we want is as many coaches that you guys can get on this to, to be on here. And we know people work. We understand that. I'm still working too. But um, even just to watch the recordings. And that's why um, we started recording them so that everybody could do it no matter what schedule they're on. And Gina records hers too. So those are always there too. Um, but are, they are... I don't know if she has them in files or where, but sometimes they're a little bit difficult there, to there's find. There's a link in there. I just went in tonight. Um, there's okay. a link to find them on. You go into Echoes or <clears throat> that's it. I think it's in files. There's a, there's a link to a uh, Google Doc that's got, like today's was already on there. So the, she's, she's pretty good at keeping them up to date. So, so um, we have access to, so we have access to two on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So the coaches think that they want to, they want to, jam it up on the weekends they can do a couple you know in a row or a couple so whenever we have days off we can like i guess what we need to just decide each of us as coaches is if it's important then we'll figure out how to fit it in like when nick and i were both starting out many of you guys when you're when we're brand new sometimes like we're just trying to fit fit this health coaching thing into the nooks and crannies of our life and, and I, we all get that um but what we recognize is once we once it's important to us we figure out where they we figure out spots to make it work and, and you and new coaches usually do if they want to do this they, they they figure it out and that's what's exciting and it's exciting when you get that just get to connect to, to more and more people that's the exciting part of that's you know just that little connection to more and more people is what's exciting also So yeah, it's about a quarter till. So we're just gonna take another short break, um, just if anybody needs to go to the bathroom. Um, and then we'll just come back at, um, in three minutes, just say, in you know, three or four minutes, 50. So, um, and then we'll go on to the next, to the next um, thing. <clears throat> 